<laughs> people oh, like the yeah. one-to-one interaction. <laughs> You'd have one of those Cockney accents. You know, like yeah. British. I Talk can't like do that. a Cockney accent. <laughs> Michael Caine. Yeah. I want to uh, make it. I'm surprised that's not a movie, and it should be a knocker upper. <laughs> well, there was knocked up. I'm rating it for Tom Hanks. <laughs> It'll be a blockbuster. Knocked up wasn't a movie. <laughs> it, it was something. <laughs> Oh, it was something, all right. <laughs> Everything with Catherine Heigl's something. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible movie. Um, former President Lyndon B. Johnson. Um, interesting little random fact about him. Um, his best player is named after him? No. Uh, uh, the fact him? that taking a shit saved his life. Uh, I think I know this one. Yeah, well, during World War II service, uh, he was due to fly on in the observation seat of the right. B-26 bomber while Bosch Cannonball. However, he was replaced when he had to go to the toilet just before takeoff. And then that thing was shot down during that flight over New Guinea, and nobody survived. New Guinea. <laughs> Guinea. <laughs> That's a racist term, isn't it? Who is that racist against? Is it against Guinea? Guinea? Isn't that a is that Italian? Yeah, I think that's an Italian thing. Oh, never actually used that term before. So I have no idea. I've never used. <laughs> Oddly enough, I've never really used any racist terms like that. They always sounded stupid to me, whether I meant <laughs> them or not. Most of them are dumb. Uh, fully agree. <laughs> like, like WAP and you know, I don't know. They just don't sound right to me. Yeah. Like that. Uh, <laughs> Like all the Asian ones, I'm not gonna list them here for the kids, but you know the Asian ones, they just sound yeah. stupid. Yeah, it sounds, very, it, it sounds. They just sound very ignorant to me. Whether you're racist or not, using those words just makes you sound dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They're totally and dumb. and they, they're always meaningless. Like, where they have some funny meaning that's really not insulting whatsoever. Just like today, just somebody at some point got offended by it, and there it is. Exactly. Like, WAP. WAP's not offensive. They, they wrote it on you when you got into the fucking New York. If you didn't have papers, they wrote on your back, literally in giant chalk, W-O-P, because you were without papers. Yeah. And that just became, like, a, now all of a sudden, WAP. Like, that's not bad. Who cares? Whatever. <laughs> so somebody didn't have papers. Big deal. Um, <laughs> all those words that, like, really, they're not, like, spook and gook and fuck. This is just like goof. Yeah. It's just a word that someone decided was bad, but really, who cares? The <laughs> dog. Nobody ever cared. Um, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> that's a little fucking race chant there. Um, sorry, Lyndon B. Johnson, for crapping on your story. <laughs> ah, that was shitty. You're welcome. <laughs> um, you know Gizmo from the Gremlins? I do know Gizmo from the Gremlins. Well, well from the mock, really, if you want to get technical. <laughs> you want to get topical. Technical. Um, well, interesting little thing here. Um, the Gizmo's fur uh, was actually, um, uh, like, the, the color scheme for Gizmo's fur was actually done to match Spielberg's beagle. Chunsy. That's stupid. One more reason to hate Spielberg, because that's dumb. <laughs> Spielberg annoys me. I don't know why. He's just he, he's an annoying person. He makes great movies, but him as a person, I think, is weird. Uh, he, he, he makes good movies. I, I'm not saying anything about his movies. He's just a weird guy. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely a weird guy. I mean, he's like pretty hated in the industry. Oh well, of course. Nobody Anyone, wants to work with him. Anyone good at anything is hated by everybody else. Look at Steve Jobs. Yep. That's very true. (laughs) Guess what? Spielberg doesn't care, and you're all going to his movies anyway. (laughs) And he doesn't care. He is not at home right now wondering what you think. Neither was Steve Jobs. Neither is Trump. Neither is anybody who's hated. They don't care. They're rich and better than you. (laughs) The quicker you understand that. Better you can move forward in life. <laughs> like, 
what, what do you people think you're going to win? You're going to get Joe Rogan fired? He doesn't care. He makes $20 million a year. Yeah. <laughs> he walks away from that podcast. He's still infinitely happier than you will ever be. So leave them alone. Let him do his fucking thing. I can't believe you could people got me to a point where I'm defending Joe Rogan. And don't think I don't think that that has something to do with it. <laughs> uh, the whole other reason just to hate people. Well, Pete, this is clearly just an excuse to get me on Rogan's side for some reason. Otherwise, why else would anyone give a crap what he's doing? Oh, Eric, my next one. I I was I was going to bypass this one, but I'm not just because, well, you're already in a half ranting mood, so I might as well just full bore it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't start out that way. I don't know what happened. Oh, well, this will just keep you going. Uh, Jill, that chickens are the closest living relatives to the T-Rex. Would you seriously go fuck yourself? <laughs> the end of this show. <laughs> it was discovered through the intricate reconstruction of the avian genome structure, which discovered that the chicken lineage most closely resembles that of the king of the dinosaurs. I'm canceling this show forever. <laughs> it's been fun, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It had to end sooner or later. <laughs> That's just so I guess funny. When Jurassic Park becomes a real thing, if someone's scared of the T Rex and you call him chicken, it's not applicable, really, is it? No, you're just identifying them. You're a chicken. Well, that's the most powerful dinosaur, so thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> The next time somebody ever says that to me, I'm so using that. <laughs> <laughs> Gay nerd comeback. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I love when, when guys do that. Like those just like terrible comebacks like that that are like just self-deprecating and make you look worse. I always felt bad for kids in school that would do that. I'm trying to, I can't think of like a really good one. Like when someone would call you gay and they go, oh, that means happy. So I'm glad. Yeah, I am happy all the time. Yeah. <laughs> You're not helping your case here, but. Because <laughs> no, that, because that rebuttal was gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really interesting. Um, adult mayflies. Um, they have no functioning, functioning mouth. Now, what's interesting about that is I that. Because of this, they actually die from mal malnutrition. Good. Um, it's an evolutionary occurrence that happens so aging mayflies don't pass on genetic defects to the next generation. Well, we're not doing nothing for Ethiopians. We're certainly not going to do anything for a bunch of mayflies. <laughs> I'm so, I bet you now that I've mentioned that, I think within the next month you're going to hear Peter saying, we need to scientifically engineer fucking mouths for mayflies. <laughs> Let the generic gene get through. I want KFC to start working on their fucking T-Rex burger. <laughs> That's what I want to see. The double down made out of T-Rex. Like, let's celebrate this chicken thing properly. Yeah, damn straight. <laughs> I want T-Rex size double down. They'd be changing the name from KFC to KF T Rex. <laughs> I like it. KFT, why not? Or KFD, Kentucky Fried Dinosaur. That's what we're going to be calling Donald Trump in December. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, remember the movie E.T.? Oh, gee, vaguely. <laughs> vaguely. Is that a little known film? Um, uh, did you know that um, one of the sort of big scenes in that movie is when they're putting down the little pieces of um, Reese's peanut butter cups on the ground uh, to pull E.T. out from the uh, from hiding sort of thing. And when he was first sort of being revealed to the family, it was Reese's peanut butter cups. I thought it was uh, Reese's pieces. Um, no, not according to this. But either way, initially, 
it was uh, M and M's um, that was supposed to do it, but M and M's pulled out because they thought that the movie was going to bomb. Yeah. yeah. So instead, the un- the unknown at that time, Reese peanut butter cups were used, and this catapulted their product into its current heights. So they are what they are today because of that movie. Um, aren't M M&M, and M's are Canadian, aren't they? I think no, they might have been invented by Canadian. I don't think it's actually a strictly Canadian thing. No, no I'm not saying it's strictly Canadian. I'm just saying I, I think it's a Canadian company. It's the same company that makes Mars and Snickers and everything. FM, I believe, or they were at one time. Okay, now that's that's a very that's funny. I love when people do shit like that, or when companies miss the boat on shit like that. Like that that Microsoft, that's never going to catch on. <laughs> or, uh, that'll never catch it. Nobody needs that. No fuck. <laughs> E.T. That's that's a stupid movie. No one's gonna watch that. <laughs> I could probably. I bet year over year, it's probably one of the highest grossing movies like every year still. Yeah. It just seems like one of those movies that's like that. You know, like Elvis is still one of the highest paid musicians ever, which is stupid. Um, I could see that with E.T. M and M's. That's funny. I like the peanut ones. That's it. Oh, yeah. They're definitely my favorite. Definitely. Uh, I'm not a big M&M dude. I love M&M's. Very much a fan. I like the wrapper. I like the food. I'll take my skills. Although those M&M commercials are fucking funny as shit. Yeah. Their marketing is genius. Um, Yeah. I'll take my Skittles. And Skittles are an interesting fucking... Oh, no. Not Skittles. What am I saying? Smarties. That's all I mean. Smarties are like M and M's, but better, hmm. and very Canadian. And that's a great story. If you guys want an exciting fucking story, look up the fucking Smarties story. Yeah, the battle with rockets. Then I'm gonna have to reread crazy. that again. Oh, you know rockets. Yeah, the candy okay. rocket. Yeah, those are those are what they call Smarties in the states. Oh, that's and, right. And the smart it became like such a fucking trademark war that now you're not even allowed to sell Smarties in the States. It's illegal. Because of the bitter fucking battle over that name. <laughs> and but the they won, so they're allowed to sell rockets up here, but they're not allowed to call them Smarties. But in the yeah. States, those are Smarties. Yeah, and we are not allowed. You're not allowed to sell Smarties in America because of this fucking they, the fight got so nasty over that name. I just think that's brilliant. It's like it's like the Robertson and fucking uh, Phillips battle. Yeah, <laughs> those two were fucking kooks too. But that went on forever, and it got like seriously like a heated fucking thing. <laughs> and you could like you could like lose your job for using the wrong fucking screw at the time. Uh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, that smart that smarties fucking thing is fucking crazy to read. You're just like, what the hell? So who cares? Why would you care? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How was that a thing? And guys, if you if you want interesting shit when when we're not giving it to you or when you know the news is what it is today, look up all that corporate stuff. Like, look up the Coke and Pepsi wars in the seventies. They were like blowing up cars and shit. <laughs> it was an it, actual war. It was like mafia fucking shit. It's crazy <laughs> what Coke and Pepsi did. And there's all kinds of shit like that going on in the world. They all kind of work together now, but <laughs> but uh, you know, 30, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, it was fucking mayhem. People were weird. Jimmy Hoffa times. Yeah. Definitely like, an interesting have, time. When someone stood in your way, you blew up their fucking car. It's not like now, you know, my dad's going to sue you. <laughs> no, they just went and blew up your fucking car. <laughs> Things would not, like, I would love to, that should be the next, like, hot tub time machine. You stick a bunch of millennials in the 60s and just watch them get fucking pummeled by reality. <laughs> I have anxiety. Shut up, hippie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that comedy. <laughs> or when millennials actually have to go to war. That'll be funny shit. 
and I'll be too old to go. <laughs> and I'm deaf in one ear, and my back doesn't work, so I'm not going nowhere. 